So who is this new character Glass from the series The Rising of the Shield Hero? In today's video, I will go over a short character analysis to dive into more about this new, exciting and mysterious character from Winter 2019's most popular series. But hey, if you're new here, why not join the 4 and 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a quick warning that this video, of course, will be full of spoilers, so that's just a heads up. But with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. So Glass was revealed at the end of episode 10, but she didn't really reveal herself until the end of episode 11, where she took out the Soul Eater during the second wave and declared herself an enemy to Naofumi and the other heroes. So this mysterious new character comes from a race of sprite people known as a soul person and is one of the seven star heroes the fan hero. Glass, of course, is female, has long black hair, very pale skin, and red eyes. She wears a black Camino very similar to the ones worn at funerals. And according to what I have read upon, she actually comes from another world. She aided one of their world's legendary heroes called Kizuna on one of her adventures where they took out the Dragon Emperor. Following this event, the two became close friends, and Glass joined Kizuna on her other adventures. Somewhere down the line, Kazuna became trapped in a labyrinth said to be inescapable and the destruction of Glass's world became imminent. The only way she thought of saving Kazuna and her world was by travelling to the world now Fumi had been summoned to and kill this world's legendary heroes which would put a stop to her world and this one merging together. Now, personality-wise, Glass is a very cold and serious person. This could all only be a persona because of the missions she has set herself on. She is extremely loyal to the world that she comes from and takes her role as the fan hero with great pride and respect. Because of this, her expectations of a hero are set really, really high, regardless of whether they are from her world or not, be them friend or foe. And because of these high expectations, she completely disregards the legendary heroes of this world all except for Naofumi, who she witnessed completely boss through the Soul Eater pretty much single-handedly in that wave, which, may I add, was so awesome to watch. Obviously, where we left off, she is challenging the heroes to a duel, but Naofumi in particular. The other three she has labelled as weak common adventurers, not worthy of the title hero. She, of course, ends up defeating these three with complete ease. So, she moves on to take on Naofumi, who at this point is refusing to use the Curse Shield and its flame effects. She she questions him on why he is not using it against her and takes his actions not to use the curse shield as a sign of mockery and disrespect. Eventually she is forced to retreat due to running out of time in this world. The two are now enemies but later down the line form a mutual respect and will eventually join forces. Yeah. Look forward to that. And finally, I'll just touch on her power. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier, she is one of the seven star vessel heroes. So already this girl is going to pack a punch. Her natural ability is that she has this thing called soul power. Obviously because of her race, this soul power is the gauge of her power. The more that she has, obviously the stronger that she is. And from the looks of it, this soul power is taken from others magic power, their spirit, level, and their natural energy. This energy then, of course, determines her attack and defense stats and acts as some sort of mana so that she can execute her various skills. But thanks for watching. This was my video about this new character, Glass, from the series The Rising of the Shield Hero. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think of Glass in the comment section below. Don't forget also to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video as it really does help my videos reach a wider audience and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.